Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I know that I had stopped sharing um, this email from Dawn, but I still get it. And I have one little part of it I want to read. Because whether it came truly from the Lord or from out of her mind, I don't believe at all it came from a demon, and it's very good advice. And I'll read you the scripture she added to it. All right, here, let me put me in the middle. Is that better? All right, now, let me read this. Dated April 11th. Circumstances have not happened as you hoped years ago. Something quite different has developed. Don't allow your mind to entertain this as bad. It is not what you expected. Adjust to the circumstances and look for the good. Look for things for which you are thankful. I got to do that a lot of times. Well, you know, now and then. To keep from being in the dumps. And I have so much to be thankful for. Looking, f I'm sorry, that was all me. Looking for what you once wanted and haven't gotten will make you unhappy. That is the truth. If we, I think about what I once wanted and didn't get and why this happened, and yeah, it'll get you in the dumps. It will make you unhappy. Adjusting your thinking, attitude, and communications to the way it lines up with my will brings you peace. And she added Colossians 3.15 and it's the NLT New Living. Um, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. And that was put up by Bev Robinson. And I felt it was okay to share that because, like I said, it was good advice and it was worth sharing. Now I have another issue I would like to share with you. And this really makes me sad. Some of you may be um, subscribed to a channel called Jubilina redeemed she is subscribed to me and i'm subscribed to her and we're more than sisters in christ she is a targeted individual and she relies on people like me and you to send what we can to keep her off the streets now you may have listened to her a few times and maybe didn't agree with something she taught or didn't believer or whatever but I do I feel in my spirit she is truly being attacked and I'm very sad right now to say it's a very sweet sister of ours who donates a gift to me every month unsolicited she just started sending it and even with her gift, I've had to ask for more when I had a need. And y'all came through. And this sister Lena has put up, and she doesn't beg for money every time she puts a video up. She's mentioned it a few times, but her information is in her description box at the very end. And you have to click on show more to see it. She doesn't beg for money. And I'm just, I just can't believe she's homeless again. Again, she survived a hurricane down in Miami, not Miami. She was in uh, Key West. Forget the name of that hurricane, but you know, it's that big one. Everybody was without power in Orlando and Miami and uh, People in the old folks' homes was floating in their wheelchairs on the water. 
Do you remember that one? She survived that. The keys got hard hit, but not like they said they would. The Lord protected her through that, just like he did Sister uh, Julie in Houston. And she's still alive, thank God. Thank God, I mean that with all my heart. I've been praying for her because she hasn't been online for over two weeks. Well, she got to put up a video this morning. Said she's uh, she's on the streets. So I'm going to post her video. I'm going to put a link. I'm asking you to pray. Do you realize if 100 people gave $7, she would have $700 to rent another room, buy food, dog food, whatever she needs, the things women need. You know what I'm talking about. Can we help her? 100 people, $7. Please pray about it. To click on her link, go to her description box to get her email. Please consider it. I wish there was some way we could do it besides through PayPal because they have been holding on to the two donations people have sent me. They finally turned loose of one today. The other one's not even showing up. They're messing with us. I know they have other people before. But I hadn't had any trouble with them until this month. Surely the end is soon, right? Surely it is. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Y'all, please, if you can't even spare $7 or $5, just please pray that those who can will be moved to help her. Would you help a homeless man on the street that you don't even know why he's homeless? I would like to think so. Jesus said, when you feed me, when you feed the homeless or you feed the hungry, you're feeding me. When you clothe someone that's naked, you're clothing me. You give a drink of water to someone that's thirsty, you're giving it to me. If you need me to find that scripture for you, I will. I'll be glad to. He says all that in judgment. Depart from me. For when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. When I was thirsty, you didn't even give me a drink of water. When I was naked, you didn't clothe me. When I was sick or in prison, you didn't visit me. And they're going to go, but Lord, when did we see you hungry or sick or in need? or naked, or in prison, or, or whatever. And he's going to go, whenever you'd refuse to do it to the least of my brethren, the least of my brethren. This lady is not a least. Even if she was. He said, when you refuse to do it to the least of my brethren, you refused to do it for me. Please think about it. 100 people, $7. That's all I'm asking. Could you be one of them? All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you and over all your devices. And I rebuke the demons that control the people at PayPal and I command you to turn loose of donations that are being given to Christian sites and ministries. Be convicted this day and turn loose of that money in Jesus' name. I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.